there's always a lot of question about these two modules when you look at the software stack. And that is the SQL Bridge module and the Tag Historian module. And they're both very important modules for Ignition, and they perform um, different, different functionalities. And there's, there's significant differences between these two modules. So I want to clear those up before we actually get into SQL Bridge in particular. The Tag Historian module, let's, let's focus on that one first. That was created primarily for trending of your process values. It is an easy way to log your tags into a SQL database to, to then simply view a graph or to summarize data in a table form to bring it back. And we've done a lot of work to keep that very efficient, easy to configure, especially in the sense that we're using SQL databases. We, a lot of our customers don't know much about databases, so this makes it very easy for them to get, for them to get up and running. By comparison, the SQL Bridge module, that module is our, we like to call it a transaction manager. It is a way of moving data between a OPC server or a PLC and a SQL database. And we can move data any way that we want, either on a schedule, on a timer, or on triggers. So there are really um, a big difference between these two modules. The SQL Bridge module can perform a lot of functionality, uh, whereas Tag Historian is focused on, on trending. It's focused on being easy to use in that regard. So if you look at the two, sort of putting them side by side and doing some uh, comparisons, maybe pros and cons, on the Tag Historian, you're not in control of the database schema. Uh, the data is in open format. It's in the SQL database. But we control the schema, and we, and we do data partitioning. So we actually separate data into separate tables in the database, and that is just to maximize performance of a SQL database. Um, so Ignition is taking care of that fact where customers don't have to worry about knowing much about databases. We, we use um, we log data as it changes. We use algorithms to sort of do some compression in the fact that we don't log data unless we actually need to. And we'll do interpolation when we bring that data back. And there's really no knowledge necessary of the SQL database, or of the SQL language in particular. And we do lose a little bit of data context. We're just simply logging each of the tags individually to a database. Now, if you look at the SQL Bridge module, in, in, in particular for historical logging, you can control the, the database schema. You can put the data into any format that you choose. You can create your own tables. You can map data into store procedures or any other format that you would like to. Now, there's no compression or data partitioning, so we're not going to take advantage of some of those features. But we're putting more of the power into your hands. So the more you know about databases, the more you can use a SQL language, the more that you can use database techniques to get more um, powerful analysis out of the information that you have and to also provide more contextual data. And like I said, SQL Bridge module, they do things off of schedules and timers and triggers. And so it really is a great way of doing event logging, um, which we're going to see a lot about here today. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good sense of the two modules. They are most certainly not mutually exclusive. You, a lot of customers will use them together in their applications uh, because you, there's, there's scenarios where you would use each one of these.